All right, so recently we did a poll on our channel in which we asked, do you guys want a fresh new video for your device of how to install TWRP step by step again? And most of y'all said yes. So for each of these devices, we have TWRP 3.6 available and we are going to cover individually a guide for all these devices so that you can stay up to date and you can follow the instructions. Now, this is going to be a comprehensive guide. It doesn't really matter if you're already on TWRP or if you're installing TWRP for the first time, because I'm going to show you everything step by step including the links mentioned in the description. That includes in, in downloading and installing platform tools, installing the TWRP recovery, how to get the drivers working. You will also need MI flash tool. So all the files that you need are mentioned in the description and this will work for almost all Xiaomi, Poco, Redmi, MI, all the devices manufactured by Xiaomi. In today's video, we're going to install the latest TWRP 3.6.0 for the Mi 11X and later the videos for the other two devices will follow as well. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think the hard work is worth the effort, you can donate us by the link mentioned in the description or you can join us for exclusive content. We have much more exclusive content coming up this month. And if you like chatting with like-minded people, well, follow us on Telegram because we have more than 1300 people chatting there. You can have people with similar devices and you can follow us on social media like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so in these videos, what you will see is sometimes I'll be on the stock ROM. I might be on a custom ROM, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, so if we look at this particular case over here, we have a Mi 11X running the latest MI year 12.5.5 Indian stable. Okay, now I'll tell you the things that we will need. You will of course need a Windows computer. If you are already on TWRP, you will not need the computer. But if you're doing this for the first time, there is no way you can do this without a computer. So you will need a computer running Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11. All of these platforms should be working just fine. Okay, you will need a OTG cable just in case this is an emergency measure. For people who are doing this for the second time, like they're just updating their TWRP, you will definitely need an OTG cable because the Mi 11X has some issues with the internal storage being detected. Okay, you will of course need a Mi 11X which has an unlocked bootloader. It should have more than 50% battery. Your data won't be wiped, so don't worry about the data. But it's always a good practice to make sure that you go ahead and back up all the information on your device. You will of course need a USB cable. Let me grab a hold of the USB cable. Right, so you will need a USB cable, a type C cable, which you can connect to the computer. Okay, now we will go step by step. In the first step, we will download the required files. In my case, I have them downloaded already. So for you, you first need to download platform tools and MI flash tool and the recovery. These are the three files that you need to have on the computer. How to go ahead and use them? I will show you them right now. We will switch to the display of the computer. Now, let's see here. So let me actually download it and show it to you. So we will Google platform tools. Okay, so download platform tools for Android SDK manager. You click on this link, right? Now the latest is 31.0.3 and if you're using Windows, select this link over here. Say I'll save this to desktop and create a new folder called TWRP, okay? And I'll save it in this folder, okay? Now the next thing that we will do is we will Google Mi Flash tool, right? So let's download the official latest Mi Flash tool from the Google Drive link that they have over here. Let's go here, download. Okay, let's click on save. Okay, so these two files are downloaded now, right? Now, let's go to the main screen over here. So now let's talk about this folder called TWRP. So the first thing that you'll do is you will extract platform tools. You see this? Now click on this and select extract to and extract this to C drive or a drive of your choice and say name this anything. Say this is a flash folder for me, right? So I will name it flash. And as you can see over here, make sure there are no spaces over here. I'll tell you why. Okay, this is extracted. Now let's go to me flash tool, extract this to the same folder. Let's go to C drive, let's go to flash. Okay, we've extracted both. Now let's go to C drive, let's go to flash. You have the platform tools and you have me flash over here. Okay, now 
as you can see, there is a meflash.exe over here and platform tools is available over here. Now the first thing that we will do is we will prepare the PC to allow unsigned drivers. If you're doing this for the first time, this is very, very important. So let's go to the home screen, go to the start menu and select advanced startup options. Okay, you see this change advanced startup options. Okay, now we will select restart now. So before that, let's stop the recording over here. Okay, so I think you can see this in there. It might not show you clearly, but I'll give you the instructions because I cannot record or I don't have a separate camera setup to show you this. Anyway, so let's click on restart now. So your windows will restart depending on the hardware you have. We have a relatively decent uh, processor, 5600, so it should restart really quick. Okay, now over here, click on troubleshoot and then select advanced options. Okay, now over here, select startup settings. You will get this prompt, so select restart. Now, when we come back, it will give us a list of big fonts. What exactly do you want to do in advanced startup? The key item that we need to select here is F7, disable driver signature enforcement, okay? F7 disables driver signature enforcement, so we will select F7, there we go. All right, so now we've restarted with disable driver signature enforcement remember so what we'll do is we will go to c drive over here okay and we will go to our flash folder go to the mi flash folder and open this over here select yes right now ideally it should automatically display over here that you need to install the drivers if you're doing this for the first time as i've already done it it is not showing me that screen so we will go to driver you see this select on install It'll give you a pop-up like this install this anyway once again once again and then you're done okay now preparing the pc is done remember i told you to download the recovery here's where it comes to, into the picture so we will go to the location where we've downloaded the recovery in my case it is under gadgets elliot recoveries copy this file go to the flash folder again and place it in the platform tools folder Okay, paste it over here. There you go, the recovery has been pasted. Now we need to put the phone into fast boot mode. Now before that, you can go ahead and ensure that you go to additional settings, you go to developer options and you enable USB debugging. Ideally, I've not had any problems using this without debugging, but just to be safe, go ahead and do that. Even if you don't do that, I don't think we'll have a problem. And we will see that right now because my debugging is turned off. So let's go ahead and press and hold volume down and power. Keep it pressed till the time you see the MI logo. Okay, as you can see, we are in fast food. Now the USB cable comes into the picture. So connect this to the computer like this. Okay, so your phone is now connected to the computer in fast boot mode. For that to be confirmed, there are two ways. One is going to the device manager and you see this Android phone bootloader interface. The driver should be automatically picked up. Now in the address bar over here, type in CMD and hit enter. Now type in fast boot space devices, hit enter. There you go, it is detected. That's great, we're good to flash. Now what we have here is the TWRP recovery, right? So we will boot the recovery first. So fast boot space boot. Okay. Then there are two ways. You can either choose to type this name, which is a little difficult. You can select this and drag this over here. Okay. There you go. The name has come. Now hit enter. There you go. It's directly going to boot your TWRP. That's step one there. All right, now as you can see, it is successfully booted into TWRP and over here, because we were on an encrypted ROM, it is asking us to enter our lock screen pattern. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we will disconnect the USB cable. Now this is where our OTG pen drive comes into the picture. I have the recovery over here. So let's go ahead and select this. Okay, connected, you're good to go, right? All right, now we have the OTG connected. So we'll go to advanced and select install recovery ram disk okay now as you can see over here we are on the usb otg storage 
and we are looking for Elliot. So this is the one. So swipe to confirm flash. Now this is what we are doing to make TWRP permanent. Let's wait for it to flash. Okay. Now, as you can see over here, TWRP has been flashed successfully. So we're going to go to the main screen, select reboot and select recovery. We can disconnect the pen drive now. Okay. So it's asking us to enter the lock screen pattern over here. Okay, now let's reboot and select system. It will go back to the ROM and then we will try to come back to the TWRP recovery. Let's wait for the device to boot up. All right, now as you can see, we've booted into the ROM. We'll press and hold volume up and power. Keep it pressed. Release the buttons when you see the MI logo. There you go you have TWRP again. Now, if you choose to flash Majisk, you can do it from TWRP. If you want to switch to a different ROM, you can follow all the guides that I have. So all in all, this is a quick step-by-step -step detailed guide with all the download links to install TWRP on the Mi 11X, the Poco F3, also known as Redmi K40. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.